everyone, my name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my December TBR. So this is gonna be a little chaotic. I feel like TBRs coming to the end of the year always are chaotic because you are trying to finish up all the reads that you meant to read this year and didn't, or you're trying to get ahead on like the winter season reads, which is kind of what I'm doing. But first, before I dive into the books that I will be talking about, I'm wearing the wrong glasses. Let me switch my glasses here a minute. Okay. That's better. Fun fact, these glasses are the exact same frame. They're just in two different colors. I have the silver and I have the rose gold. And it's the little things. Like, the rose gold goes better with, like, the brown and the red of this outfit than the silver does. That's okay. Let's continue. <laughs> A couple things to note about December is that, of course, there are readathons going on. So, <laughs> I will be participating in at least two. There are two month-long ones I'm going to participate in. I'm not sure if I'm going to add on a third one. I kind of don't want to unless it's one that I've done before or is a shorter one. Anything kind of Christmas themed, I'm probably not going to add on with what I already have. So let me just quick say the two readathons that I will participate in this December. The first one is Slavicathon, and this is hosted by Sasha over at The Wild Sasha. I will have the announcement linked down below, and Sasha's doing this really cool thing where she is releasing the prompts one little video at a time and giving us little bits of the story as she goes because the Slavic Readathon is amazing in that way. So as of filming this, her second prompt just came out and I just watched that video. So as the prompts are just being released, I am not able to form my TBR until a little bit closer and I'm so excited. And then the second readathon I will be participating in is the Reindeer Readathon and this is by Evan over at Break Even Books, Break Even Books. So I again will have that linked down below. I participated in it last year and I had so much fun. And may I just say, I bought the bookmark last year and I loved it and now I can't find it and I'm really annoyed. And they're coming out with a new bookmark this year, so I'm like, I either have to find the one from last year, or I just have to buy them both this year. Anyway, that's just a little side note. That has zero importance to this video. But I have been assigned my team already for that. I will be on team Mistletoe. But this December TBR is not necessarily going to be focused on those readathons per se. I think some of these books are going to overlap or I'm going to figure out how they can overlap, but these are just books I want to read in December. So this TBR is going to be chaotic and it's going to be very, very casual and very chill uh, because I have a stack of books next to me that I would like to read, but I've also got my Goodreads up so that I can look and see what other books I have or I don't have that I want to read because I know there are a lot. I am such a mood reader, so I figure I will set a big TBR for myself and then I will choose the books that do fit the prompts for both of these readathons and what I'm actually in the mood to read and not feel pressured to read all of them, just the ones I'm in the mood for, which is not something I've ever done with TBRs before. Like I always create these huge TBRs for the months and then I never read all the books on it and I always feel this pressure to do so. But I think this month I'm gonna create a big TBR and just mood read my way through it and not necessarily pressure myself to read all of them. Especially because December is going to be interesting because we will be heading back home partway through the month. And so I can only take so many books with me, but it's for half of the month. So, anyway. I also, it is still technically November, obviously. So I don't know yet what books I will buy in December uh, because I do get a monthly book allowance for those of you who don't know. So generally around the first couple of days of the month I will head to the bookstore and buy some books. So this does not include whatever I will buy for December. But yeah, anyway, I'm going on and on. It's gonna be chaotic and chill, but it'll be fun. So First couple books I'm going to mention. Also, some of the books here are going to be featured in a haul coming up kind of more towards the end of the year when I do have all of my December books. So, 
just just bear that in mind. Like these first two, they kind of represent a whole genre. So Very Merry Bromance by Lisa K. Adams and Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochin. And so these kind of represent the fact that I will want to read all of the holiday rom-coms. Mostly Christmas because I do celebrate Christmas. But also if I can get my hands on other holidays that are in the winter time, I will definitely want to. So these just kind of symbolize, symbolize that I will be reading these kinds of books. I'm going to read whatever I can get my hands on that sounds interesting. Another one that I will say I'm going to read is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I actually ordered this book and it is at my parents house right now. So as soon as I go home it will be available for me to read. I'm so excited. I liked Tessa Bailey's other book but this was the book that I had first heard of Tessa Bailey through and was interested in. So I'm excited to read that. Next I want to read Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I just finished Carrie Maniscalco's other series, The Stalking Jack the Ripper, and I loved them. I wanted to finish that series before I started this one. I don't know why, I just kind of did, but this will be a winter fantasy read that I really want to get my hands on the rest of the series for, but kind of make my way through. This sweater is so big, it's taking up like all of the rug space around me which is where I have the book so I'm constantly trying to like move the sweater off the TBR and then move it off of the stack of books I already talked about. This is fun. Also like I, I'm speeding I'm speeding through these. I'm not really given much of a description and I'm sorry. I also want to read Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This seems a little bit more of an autumnal read but I think it will also work in the winter. It's kind of my transition book and it, I might read it kind of end of November, early December. Um, for me, winter starts December 1st and we can start prepping for Christmas immediately after Thanksgiving but I won't really be in the mood until December. But because there's already snow on the ground, it's kind of already winter. Like, the fact that I've already driven my car and slid on the road, it's winter. Um, but this seems like a, an, an adorable, cozy, like, warm coffee and a baked good treat. Um, I will be using this in the slavic although I do actually want to read some Slavic folklore books as well. This seems like such a short comfort read that I just want to cozy up with this December. Next up, I have two books that I have put on TBRs previously and have not gotten to them, so we'll see if I get to them in December. This first one, I really hope I do. It's Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I really want to get to this one because it is everybody is trapped on this island, the wealthy grandma dies, and now maybe other people are dying, maybe they're not, I'm not quite sure. It seems like kind of an isolation thriller, so... I like those during the winter, so I really want to read this. I read the first chapter, I loved it, so this is this is my thriller for the winter season. Now we're gonna move on to the books that I don't have that I am tentatively putting on the TBR. If I can get the audiobook or if I can get them from the library, that's what I'm gonna do. I get all of my audiobooks from the library, but I will be switching over to Libby because that's what my current app is telling me I need to do because everybody is apparently switching to Libby. So my current app is going to be no more in 2023. Anyway, again, not the point. Some books I would like to read would be The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I'm pretty sure this is kind of a Slavic folklore book. 
Yes, because it, it takes place in Russia and it is off of a Russian fairy tale. It's the first book in a trilogy and I am intrigued by it. I also want to read The Huntress by Kate Quinn. This is a historical fiction. Yeah, it's it's still like World War, like Soviet Union and Nazis and yeah, World War. So <laughs> I do still want to read it and I think it'll be good for winter, but we'll see. Um, ooh, Middle Game by Sean and McGuire I would like to read, although I do also need to make more process progress in the Wayward Children series, but we'll see if that happens. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black has cold written all over it. Literally. More historical fiction, more historical fiction. Oh, The Winter Duke by Claire Eliza Bartlett. That sounds like a good winter fantasy. I have a list of winter books that I have yet to read and that's kind of what I'm just scrolling through and seeing what catches my eye which is why none of these books are very thoroughly researched and I'm sorry but sometimes it's just kind of fun to like throw things out there and just be intrigued and then if I have the time or means I'll pick it up. Oh Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I really want to read that one. So I loved the Skolomance trilogy by Naomi Novik but I did not like Uprooted by Naomi Novik. And I believe Uprooted and Spinning Silver, they're not related, but their covers are very similar. But Spinning Silver has a much more of a wintry cover, and it has like a Rumpelstiltskin style retelling, I believe. So, yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, it's like Rumpelstiltskin kind of taxpayer -y. Um, So I really am going to try and put in an effort to read that one. All the rest of these I'm probably just going to put on my winter TBR and go from there. So lots and lots and lots of books that I want to read in December but again above all else I'm probably gonna just prioritize the holiday contemporaries so just be warned of that anyway that's it for this video thank you all so much for watching sorry for the chaos of it but honestly I liked the chaos of it but it's not for everybody, I understand. Comment down below what you want to read this December. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I do have bookish social media linked down below, so if you're intrigued and actually want to see what books I do end up reading this December, you can follow me on like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that, and you can get updates on what I'm reading and my thoughts on it. Otherwise, subscribe because I make videos and I post them twice a week and they're all bookish content so if you like it you should subscribe and I will be making a lot of extra videos because December I tend to do all of like the end of the year wrap up like my favorite books my least favorite books goals for the next year how I'm gonna run my channel lots of other various things so because of that I will be posting bonus videos so you should subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when extra videos go up and you don't miss that content. Anyway, that's everything from me. Thank you all very much for watching again, and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.